Hey guys, big welcome back as always. Uh, today I'm working on my LED project for the uh, 120 Reef. Um, for anyone that watched before, this is I was talking about using a spare set of lights to create um, another light. So here's what I've got going on. Um, these are all LED light panels that I took out of the 72 inch PFO Aquatics uh, Solaris light. Um, they originally had uh, five banks of LEDs and then another one there per panel. However, the power supplies were shot, so I ended up having to buy LED drivers such as this. Um, I got these off a guy out in Brampton, and he pretty much gave me them at uh, more or less at cost. Um, I got six of them off him for $130 or $120 and I gave him a $30 tip because he worked for a few hours trying to figure out exactly how we could make the, these lights work, um, which he did. I ended up having to do a lot of cutting and soldering and stuff so every panel had to be wired in like that. Um, I'm not the world's greatest solderer by any means, however they are up and running, they're working. Um, as a matter of fact, I can show you on the white set, just like this. Um, there you go, as you can see there. I can only show you the one set because the other one's got, see that one had it burned out. Unfortunately, most of the LED, or a good number of the LEDs were shot. And so two of them are burned out. There's nothing I can do about that um, because these little things had gotten damaged by salt water and so a lot of them just didn't work. I had actually just enough with one spare set. So um, anyhow, what I've been doing though is I, I can only use three per just because that's all the drivers would allow. And that was the, after I've soldered everything together. And then now I'm using uh, liquid uh, tape, just like that from uh, Home Depot to cover the connections to hopefully help protect it from salt water. Um, even though I still am planning on making some kind of a cover for the this area. I've got this board I got from Home Depot. It's like uh, for making a for sale sign or something like that. So I was thinking on uh, screwing them on like that once I finish building the canopy just to cover it and make it a little bit safer. I'm not trying to burn out my new drivers or LEDs even though these will be like that'll end up being like 15 inches off the water. Uh, still better safe than sorry. I'm not going to really be adding a whole lot of weight by doing it. So uh, I'll come right back and I'll show you guys what it looks like completed. Okay here we are with the lights now all installed in the frame of a canopy. Um, except one panel was flickering so I just disconnected it for now the um, panels I was showing you I'll figure it out later or I won't I'm not even worried actually I can just move that over to the center um, because it really by raising the lights up like I have them now it was even without these lights actually providing a pretty decent spread of light over the aquarium right now the main set is on lunar so it's actually not very bright but um, that's that, so I will be showing you guys once I actually finish the canopy and make it look nice and make ventilation for it and whatnot. But uh, pretty cool, it's going all right. All right, let's see what it looks like finished. All right guys, so now the canopy is completed and on the tank, uh, so I just want to show you kind of with the doors closed, this is how the light is, um, going down it throws a little more of the light down instead of out this is only the center set of lights now I'll go ahead and switch on the uh, the outer ring of lights the new ones that I installed and now that is with the uh, outer lights put on so let's go have a look at the other side and this is the other side excuse my tank being a little dirty I haven't uh, really cleaned it in a couple of days but um, as you can see it's plenty bright with the new lights on there and here I am just kind of showing the inside I realize it's probably difficult to see how they um, 
are, but from earlier in the video, you know how I set it up. I still got a bit of cleaning up to do to maybe staple some wires down and whatnot, but overall, I am pretty happy with it. All right, and here I just wanted to show you guys the outside of the tower with the lights. Um, I've still got some wires hanging out and stuff up there. I've got to work on. I'm going to put some foam around the doors to try to hide the light that comes through. But overall, it looks pretty good. Let's have a look at the other side. And this is the final side, just showing um, the door's not actually closed all the way there. So more lights coming through there, but that's okay. It's good enough just to show you guys the uh, finished product, well, almost finished. I got a little bit of wiring to hide and stuff, but overall came out pretty good. Say goodnight to the fish. Bye guys.